Hi everyone, it's Crystal from Crystal's Creative Spot .blogspot.com. And today's video is going to be one of my techie type videos. Um, I've done a few of these in the past for my channel. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and do this one as well. Now I want to go ahead and give you guys a, a warning, you know, like up front about this. Um, I'm no expert at Photoshop. Um, I had bought this about a year ago and I've only played around with it like a handful amount of times. So I'm a beginner. So if you're watching this and I'm not using the correct terminology or if there's a better way to do this, um, you know, I'm sorry. But this is the way that I know how to do it and this is the way that works for me. So I figured I'd go ahead and um, do this video and put it up on my channel. If this video helps somebody out, that's wonderful. Um, but I'm pretty much doing this also just for my own, so I can have an, uh, my own reference to refer back to this. So if I forget how to do this, I can just watch this video and know how to do it again. Okay, so I'm basically calling this how to make your own templates inside of Photoshop Elements. Now I'm running Photoshop Elements 12, and yeah, this is like I said, this is going to be a quick video. So let me go ahead and get started. Alright, so I have Photoshop opened up already. And as you can see up here, there's a quick, a guided, and an expert mode. I am on the expert mode. So what you want to do here is go to File, New, Blank File. And we're just going to create a blank file for right now. Now here's when you can go ahead and um, name your page. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and then down here is where you can set your width and your height and your resolution. Um, right here, these drop down boxes, you can change it from pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, whatever you're working with is where you would change it right here. So, um, why I also am setting up these templates is because I do pocket style scrapbooking. So, my page protectors have different size photos on there. So, what I'm trying to do is go through and make all these templates up so when I'm using them, I can just pop into here, pop my photos into my templates, print them out, and some, you know, it would be quick and easy for me. So I'm currently working with an 8.5 by 11 page protector, and I always keep my resolution at 300. I think it's pretty much just standard. I'm not for sure, but that's what I've been seeing it at, so that's why I leave mine at 300. And then for these templates, I like to have my background as a transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to bring up our workspace. Now, this particular page protector I'm working with is, like I said, an 8.5 by 11, and it has three um, pockets on it. So I need to create three boxes for this template. The first one, we'll go ahead and get started with the first one. So over here, um, you want to go down to your draw menu, and you want to click on your shape tool. Now, mine's currently set at a, re a rectangle. When I first started this, it wasn't, and I had the hardest time finding the shape tool. So it's right here. It's right next to the eyedropper. So I go ahead and click on that, and this is this is by what I mean. It has like different shapes might be shown up on yours. So um, I have my set for a rectangle because that's what I need it for. Um, and then my boxes are going to be white. Again, you can have whatever color you want. I like to keep mine set at fixed size right here. So um, my first pocket is eight and three eighths wide by four and three quarters in height. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this here. So I need eight and three eighths, which is eight point three seven five, and four and three quarters, which is four point seven five, right here. Now what I like to do is just click off over here in a gray area anywhere. And then I'm going to go up to the workspace here. Now you're going to see the mouse, um, the pointer, go to like a plus sign. So I'm, I go up here to the corner and I just click, left click, and it brings up my box for me. Now I'm going to go back to my move tool, which is right here. And I'm going to move this. You can do this last, but I, I do it now and then I'll do it here at the end probably as well. Okay, so I like the placement of that. Now I need two more boxes, and they're both the same size, so this is going to be pretty easy here. Again, we're going to go to our shape tool. Um, both of mine are going to be rectangles. The only thing I have to change is the width and the height. So these are 4 by 6s so I need 4 here, 
and six right here. Again, I go over here and just click off, and then I go up here to our work area, and I'm going to click twice. One right here, and then come over here and click again. It brings me up my two boxes. Go over here to your move tool, click on that, and I'm going to go ahead and move these into the area. And what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm going to do here is zoom in just so I can see a little bit better. I don't like these butted up right against the edge. I like it to, to be um, closer together. So that looks good for me. So there you go. Um, you have your template done. If you want, you can go over here in the, your layers and you can change the name of your layers if you want. So all you would do is like highlight click on the one you want and then right click and you can do rename layers very simple to do now at this point like I said your template is done um, so if you wanted to you could go ahead at this point I would go ahead and save your save your template okay so all you do with that is you'd get a file save as and just save it but what I'm going to show you guys now is how to put your photos in here and again this is really easy very very simple so <coughs> um, excuse me I already have my three photos brought into my Photoshop and we're gonna work with the bigger one first here the top box so what you wanna do again make sure you have your move tool selected what you wanna do is make sure you click on the layer that you wanna work with on the box that you wanna work with so I'm going to go ahead and click up here and as you see the boxes went around, our guide went around our, our layer. So I'm going to go down here into my photo bin and I'm going to left click and hold and drag my photo up to my work area. And it's going to bring your photo up to here. Normally this is a lot quicker but the software I'm running to do this type of video takes a little bit longer okay so I'm going to move my photo up and I want to make this photo just a little bit bigger and then I want to drag it to where I think I want it at okay I'm going to click on the green checkbox here now this step here is the most important one what you want to do is go up to your layer and then you want to create clipping mask and there you go so this will print out at the 8 and 3 eighths by 4 and 3 quarters at this point, because I made it a little bit bigger, I can move around in here to see exactly what I want on my photo. So that looks pretty good for me. Okay, I got two more to fill here, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that again. This is really simple to do. Click on the, the layer or the box you want to work with. Go to your photo. You want to left click, hold it in, drag it, pull it up here to your work area. Leave it, bring your photo up in. Then at this point, you want to go ahead and you want to resize your photo. Okay, that's got to be a little bit smaller. Click on the green arrow, go up to layer, create clipping mask and then just rearrange your photo in there. Perfect. So again, click on the layer you want, go to your photo bin, left click, hold it in, drag it up to your work area, drop it, resize it, once you have it resized the way you like it, cl click on the green arrow, go to layers, create clipping mask and just move your photo away around it away where you want it to be now at this point you're done you can go ahead and if you're printing these off at your house you can go ahead and print it off if you're gonna save it what I recommend doing is saving it as a JPEG that's always good if you're sending this off to get printed out but what I like to do before I do it, before I actually save it is I like to go up here, I like to click off of that, go up to your layers, and I want to flatten 
the image. Now when I hit flatten the image, all these layers that's over here, they'll all go into one layer. So you won't be able to move them around or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten the image. As you see there, it just took everything into one. And then I would go to File, Save As, and then I would save it. Make sure your format is at a JPEG. Sometimes it doesn't go to that. Sometimes it still wants to say a Photoshop format. Just double check it to make sure. And like I said, um, I like to save mine as JPEG. And then I would hit save and that would be that. Alright everybody, so that is my little quick... Um, I wouldn't even call this a tutorial. I guess you could call it a tutorial. But um, I hope this helps somebody out. If not, I will help me out if I decide to do this again and forget how to do it. Alright, thanks everyone for watching and until next time, have a great day. Bye.